Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the last of the mega post-move updates. Holy moly, there's been a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, shortly after my birthday, up until about the middle of the month, and, well, actually, was it after my birthday? I can't remember. Anyway, over the course of a few weeks, I went kind of crazy, just kind of treating myself, because it had been a while. And then we got approved for the new place, just like literally out of the blue. And I was like, oh, great, but fuck. I just spent a shit ton of money. So, yeah, good times, good times. So it was a bit of a mad dash, mad craziness to make it all happen. But we got all moved in. We're in the new place right now. This is not going to be the permanent setup, what you're seeing here. Um, the shelves behind me are in complete disarray. The video games are in complete disarray. I'm looking at them right now. They're back in the Teak Entertainment Unit where they usually go. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a while before everything's sort of sorted out. So for now, I just kind of quickly set things up on the couch with the music stand. You can see there's still boxes and shit behind me, but uh, kind of hiding it. But um, once things are in order, we'll do like a proper walk around. And uh, you can see just how much more space we actually have here. It's going to be pretty awesome I, I feel really good about this space so about this place well the space in this place at this yes this space place alrighty anyway today we're talking about new ps3 games well new mostly used ps3 games that I got I almost always buy games used because you save a shit ton of money doing it that way but found some pretty cool stuff recently and uh, wanted to show you so let's take a look New PS3 games, update time, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, let's see what we got here. So... Starting off with one of the greatest action games ever made, John Woo Presents Stranglehold. <laughs> I remember hearing about this when it first came out, and it got all this, this hype and stuff. It's like, John Woo doing an action game, oh my god! Everyone was really excited, and then apparently it kind of sucked. So, I don't know, I think this was like $3, so I'm not complaining too much. But uh, if nothing else, if it's really horrible... It'll be for you know, it'll provide some good comedy on Twitch. Uh, next up, I thought this one sounded pretty interesting. Picked up Inversion, yeah, kind of along the lines of uh, from the description, it sounds kind of along the lines of Fracture. Remember, Fracture uh, in Fracture, you could change the physical characteristics of your environment, you could raise and lower uh, the land to uh, do different things. Well, in this one, you control gravity. So, yeah, so you can, like, walk up walls and along ceilings and stuff, apparently, something like that. Uh, send enemies flying to the air, I guess. But, uh, anyway, sounded like kind of a cool idea. Picked it up on the cheap. Not too shabby. Um, now, as always, I do keep an eye out for the instruction manuals, because, you know, I like to get those. I'm very picky about that. I mean, I, I've, yes, I'll buy used, but... By the same token, I want to make sure that it's complete, right? And uh, having the manual with it is is part of that completeness. Next up, uh, boy, Skin Slip's been going gaga over this game. Um, I should mention, I do have all of the, uh, you know, sort of starter pack add-ons and a few additional figurines. Rosie's going to be getting that for her uh, birthday in August. Until then, I'm kind of stocking up on other stuff to add to that package. Uh, she's basically getting her sister's old set. Um, what am I talking about? Skylanders. Yes, there we go. So this is uh, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, which um, was, I think, the first starter set game. But, um, yeah, you can see on the back, not for resale. <laughs> well, they resold it, and I got it. Anyway, um, so this is just basically a, you know, a nice little adventure with Spyro, I guess. And, uh, and of course, those of you unfamiliar with Skylanders, essentially, it's, uh, it's a game that uh, uh, utilizes figurines as well. So you have, like, this sort of platform that you put your figurines on, and depending which figurines you have, I guess, determines which ones you can play in the game. So, kind of cool. Um, so anyway, I've got a couple of those platforms and a bunch of figurines. 
that uh, Rosie's stepsister didn't want anymore. So that's kind of acting as the starter set. And then uh, uh, between ne- between now and August, the plan is to pick up a whole bunch more figurines for her and some of the other games as well. I understand Skylanders Giants is quite good and Swap Force is quite good. So probably going to grab those and uh, some figurines to go with them. Uh, the Skylander stuff is stupid cheap right now. I don't know. Like, if you get some of the older ones, um, it, there's, like, bargain bins of figurines at EB Games with just, like, dozens and dozens of figurines. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably just going to raid those and get her a whole bunch of different ones. Um, different types, you know, you get the different elemental types and whatnot. Kind of like Pokemon. Um, so, yeah. So, she'll be pretty cool. Um, she's been wanting to get Skylanders for a long time. She has some of the comics and uh, some of the books and stuff like that. She really likes just the whole lore of it and the, the creatures and whatnot. Um, in much the same way that she enjoys Pokemon. So, um, yeah. So, she actually did see me get that when I bought it. So, I kind of had to hush-hush the fact that uh, I've got a Skylanders set waiting for her. But, uh, so I was just like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm just getting it because it's cheap. This is like five, not even five bucks. Um, I'm getting it because it's cheap and, you know, I mean, we'll get Skylanders eventually. So I just kind of left it vague like that. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Alrighty, now, these I have seen lurking around from time to time. And I thought, you know what, what the heck? A lot of these are games that I'm looking for anyway. So why not get these special editions? Uh, so first up. We got the Steelbook Edition of Devil May Cry 4. So this is actually, this is not Dante, this is Nero on the cover. And we got Dante on the back. And there's the spine. And if we crack it open, check this out. So we got the uh, the game disc there and lovely manual, which is actually kind of falling out because the clips are busted off, but whatever. Uh, very nice, very nice indeed. This is kind of a kind of a collector's item. Gotta love it. So, yeah, I haven't really bought a lot of games in Steelbook, but uh, I saw a few around EB Games, and the interesting thing about it was they were going for exactly the same price as the non-Steelbook editions. So I thought, well, why don't I get the one with the cooler packaging? So next up, as you know, I picked up uh, pretty much all the other games in this series. The only ones I need now are the two PSN games uh, specifically, and then I'll have the entire series, and we can do some kind of stealth night on Twitch or something, and uh, I'll slowly work my way through them. Picked up Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag in this lovely Steelbook edition. Check this out. Now, this is actually a little bit more of a special edition because, um, well, I mean, it's got the instructions, obviously, as the game, but it also has the soundtrack CD, which is pretty cool, which the regular edition uh, does not have. So, yeah, very cool. Very, uh, very stoked about that one. Um, a lot of people I've talked to say that Black Flag is their favorite one because pirates. You get to, you know, do a, be, a, be a pirate on a pirate ship. Next up, I've seen this one around. I remember seeing uh, a featurette about it when it was coming out, and uh, it just sounded like an interesting idea to me. Plus, it stars Ellen Page, so how can you go wrong there? Got Beyond Two Souls. There you go. Not much on the back there, but uh, very nice. It's kind of a cool like, matte finish steelbook. Very, uh, very nice uh, texture to it. Um, not much to see inside, really. We've got the, uh, the game disc and stuff like that. <laughs> the original receipt from Game City... Not where I bought it from, but the original seat from whoever bought it originally. Uh, apparently paid like 30 but Either $17.99 or $29.99 for it. I'm not sure. And uh, that's that. Oh, actually there is some artwork underneath if we just take a look here. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, maybe we'll take a quick peek at the other two there and see if they've got some artwork underneath as well. Just before we look at the last couple here, uh, just be one second. So, uh, oh yeah, duh, <laughs> Devil May Cry certainly does. Here we go. So there's uh, the artwork underneath for the Devil May Cry one. Very nice. And uh, do 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 do. Just get it back in there. 
That's what she said. And then Black Flag. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another, uh, another receipt. Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah. Uh, apparently, whoever bought this originally paid 55 bucks for it. Not too bad. Kind of interesting they included the original, their original receipt in there. I don't know. The, uh, the the store clerk had a lot of trouble getting the discs out. I don't know what his problem was. I had no trouble at all just now. But uh, anyway, there's the artwork underneath. Very cool. Got, uh, I guess it's Ezio. I'm not sure who the... I, I'm not overly familiar with the Assassin's Creed characters. I know there's a few different protagonists, uh, depending which game you're playing. But... Uh, yeah, definitely a series uh, I look forward to checking out. I've been uh, interested in this one for quite a while. And they're going stupid cheap right now. Um, like, I don't think I've paid more than 10, 10, 15 bucks. Like, this one was like $14 for the freaking Steelbook Deluxe Edition. I mean, who could pass a deal up like that up? Next up, uh, time to get my Star Wars on. I, I played the demo of this a long time ago. And, uh, you know, I thought it was okay. I know some people really like these games. Um, I thought the idea was interesting, you know, just kind of a, a side story that kind of slots into the, uh, you know, the main original trilogy. But uh, we've got Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, Ultimate Sith Edition. Very cool. Very nice uh, cover there. And there we go. Kind of interesting they had the Blu-ray banner in silver. It's interesting. And if we open this up, this is actually uh, kind of a cool deluxe edition because, uh, well, you got the, the manual, of course, and then you've got collector's cards. So there's a total of, uh, I think, 10 collector's cards. So you would have to buy this set a minimum of 10 times to get all 10 cards because each one only comes with one. However, it has this nice little booklet that... Uh, actually shows you all the cards so you may only have one actual card but at the very least you can have all the artwork which is quite nice so very very cool indeed i'll just show you all of them there we go and that and there we go very nice very nice Go. Very cool. Is that, uh, that is Darth Maul. Look at that. Alright, cool. Uh, and the main difference is with the cards, if you look, try to catch the light on it here. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but anyway, the logo's shiny. And of course, the card itself is glossy, so quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. So, there we go. So, of course, I did just pick up The Force Awakens um, and have been re watching it and love it. Um, yeah, so I guess now, now that I've got the first one, I'll probably pick up the second one. I can't remember which one people said was better, but anyway, cool. <laughs> Check that out. And last, but most certainly not least, uh, the guy at EB Games, they, they're super nice at the EB Gameses here in my neck of the woods. Um, so the guy saw that I was buying uh, a bunch of steel books and asked if I wanted another one at no charge because uh, he had had it there. Oh, excuse me. And I said, sure, why not? So what was the one he offered me at no charge? Far Cry 4. How the how, how freaking cool is that? And this thing is beautiful. Now, that said, it's just the steel book. There is no game in it, but I will definitely be buying the game at some point. I still need to pick up Far Cry 3, actually, and I want to repurchase Far Cry 2 because I really enjoyed it. I have Far Cry 1 in digital form from the PSN, um, so at some point I will work my way through all of them. I know that there, there's no connection between them. They're all kind of individual and independent of each other, but um, but yeah, so whenever I get it, I've got a cool steel book to put it in. <sighs> Excuse me. I think it's time for bed. Wow, that really peaked it out. Sorry. <laughs>
Primal Roar of Tired. Alrighty. Uh, it's been an exhausting couple of weeks, to be honest. I mean, with the whole move and everything. I can't believe, like, it, it's... We've been here about a week, I guess. Like, properly moved in. And we're kind of moving over the... The move itself took, like, five days. And it was just hell. But, uh... So we're finally getting settled in and everything's going well. But every day has been exhausting in a whole different way. And now I've got to go to work. So I'm working for like the next few days. <sighs> oh well, it pays the bills. <laughs> and allows for stuff like this. Speaking of which, big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Especially Kyle Pellegree, uh, my current highest level sponsor. And thank you to everybody else for being sponsors. Really appreciate the support. It helps to make things like this and what you're seeing uh, possible on a more regular basis. And uh, I really appreciate that a lot. Um, yeah, so thank you. Please consider becoming a Patreon sponsor. It helps. Uh, so that is it for me to you for now. The updates are up to date until the next update. Don't know when that will be. Basically putting all the focus on, on apartment stuff right now. Uh, toiletries, supplies, groceries. I've got a pantry that I'm in the process of loading up. Um, with just miscellaneous stuff. And, um, yeah. Awesome. Alrighty. Oh my god, I, I'm going right to bed. Have yourselves a great day, night, whatever. We'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.